I think saying yes to go to Domino Effect one was one of the best decisions I've ever made in my entire life. This is Kevin. Kevin is a pretty normal high schooler. He studies for tests, works at charity, and hangs out with his friends. Sometimes, Kevin can't help but feel isolated and stressed. He just dedicates so much energy to homework, social media, and other obligations. Which begs the question, how can we smash this problem? This is Super Smash Bros, a video game series by Nintendo that's beloved by millions of players. Each player has a limited number of lives, and you lose lives when you get hit off the stage. If you take all of your opponent's lives, you win the game. Smash is unlike any fighting game I've ever played. Each person you play against, it's a different personality, and that personality really shows when you play against them. After playing Smash, like no other video game kind of just fills the same role. As with any other sport that pits people against others, players want to prove that they were the best at the game. Today, there are hundreds of Smash tournaments around the country, and the competitive scene is thriving more than ever. I, I really just enjoy meeting new people and, and playing against them and like playing against new characters and play styles that I've never fought before. It's such a daunting game because people have been playing for multiple years and to get to that caliber you have to practice a lot. The competitive environment where everyone that you're playing with or sitting next to is at your level and is thinking the exact same thing that you are, that they want to win. And so playing against like equals is a really fun thing. One of these tournament series is Domino Effect, held in the Seattle area. It runs events for Melee, Smash 4, and Smash Ultimate. Sure enough, a very tight-knit, inclusive Smash community formed around Domino Effect. It's had an immensely positive impact on everybody who's a part of it. After I joined Domino Effect, I had people I could play games with, talk with, and relate with. It's sort of given like my life a new purpose. It's like, it's so grassroots. Well, almost everybody. This is the story of how an unlikely gaming community was able to touch the lives of hundreds of players. But just how did it get started? In November 2017, around 20 high schoolers came together at their friend's house in Everett to have the first domino effect. My friends and I held this tournament because we love this game and we love playing with it. So it started out with my friend Brendan having an idea. He said, hey, I really like this game. You know, we play it all the time. Let's have a tournament. And then we asked our mutual friend Osbert if he could invite some people that he knew played Smash at his school, Tesla STEM High School. And he invited some and they invited some. And before we knew it, there was 27 kids there. Also, we were able to get everyone from Redmond to Everett to someone's house. And so it's actually really crazy how things actually worked out. Kind of wanted to consolidate all the high school players primarily and really settle the question of who's the best. Oh, so, so how DE got its name? Oh, that's a funny story. But the name Domino Effect itself came from the fact that we are the most ill-prepared people of all time. Uh, it was because we wanted to get something to eat, and uh, I guess we didn't look at how the deals work at Domino's Pizza, so we ended up um, getting a whole bunch of money together and getting not nearly enough food for everybody from Domino's. We made a big joke out of it afterwards. We were trying to get name selections because we were thinking about meeting up again, and someone said Domino Effect, and man, that just stuck so well. All of us still with the fresh memory of just having to starve. I used to be a player. I used to be pretty good actually. I won the first domino effect at melee singles. 20 something people. Pretty big deal. I was a pretty big deal back then. I was pretty good. I played Peach. I beat Mark. I reverse swept him in winners finals and I think I won 
3-1 Grand Finals. It was, uh, I wouldn't say it was a very close set, but it wasn't a beat out. It was, uh, it was an alright set. And just like that, it became a tradition for this group of friends to hold a domino effect at someone's house once a month. D2, uh, probably one of the most ratchet Ds. Definitely more ratchet than D1. Uh, we had it at Max's house and there was like five setups, four setups. I think D has definitely grown from there. I think everyone has been excelling really fast at the game, especially Max. I remember at D2, he brought it back from winners and he came back in losers. And, you know, he lost twice, but it was a valiant effort. I think my favorite moment so far competing was um, at DE2 when I got top 8 in melee. That felt so incredible because I had to play Harrison and so he ended up crushing me in melee. But I made a little loser's run. At the third domino effect, which is really early on, we're in Everett at one of our friends' house. And when we're there, I decided I'm getting bored with this game, trying to go become a tier whore and play Bayonetta, but I can't play Bayonetta for shit. So I'm losing constantly, because I don't know how to do anything. So I go game five with Sam, I'm about to lose, and then he chokes and he loses, and then slaps the Wii and it turns off the monitor, because he's so salty. Going into that, I, I heard that this guy named Thomas was really, really good. So I wasn't going in too confident, but in winner's finals, um, it was a really, really close set, and at the end, I think it was a pretty sizable pop-off when I finally won that set, and that gave me confidence that I was at the same level as the other players that were at these tournaments. Ever since then, uh, we were the two, probably the two best players, and we almost always met in Grand Finals, either me and him or me and Max. And he did not take a set off me in Smash 4. Okay, 3 at my friend Brendan's house, and Four in my friend Edwin's house. It's gigantic, almost, almost like a mansion in, in Kenmore, Washington. And it's, it's, it's great. I won that one. I won, and I beat my friend Max, who beat me at D2. And I was very, I was very sad uh, that he beat me. And I beat him in two sets. And the last set was really close. And I beat him. And I was on top of the wall for at least a couple days. I was very happy that I won, but very soon after, kind of the romance of competing died out. I still wanted to be involved with the scene. I feel like I, I was with this group of people already, so I still wanted to be involved. But if Domino Effect was a big deal, I guess I was the person who had the, the volition and the time and the will to do it. What we had to do is find a venue first of all. Um, so the first one that we found was the Old Firehouse. We did a charity tournament at the Old Firehouse and we got a date set up. And obviously I had to assemble a team and I've been very fortunate to have very good, very connected team members, especially Nolan and Fire the Pyro. And obviously, you know, from there, it grew pretty organically. We've essentially gone public, so to speak, instead of staying in our brasseries that it's allowed us to expand further. We're now in a more centralized location that people know about, that it's way easier to figure out who we are, what we're about. The four of us can all work together to make the upcoming tournament in the Redmond Firehouse, I believe is in March, to be the best one we've ever had, because I want it to be. Uh, my goal, uh, hopefully re replicate the uh, results from Domino Effect uh, 7. I'm also interested with um, some of the new faces here because I've seen a few and like they're like they're already like blazing through uh, tournaments. It also still had a relatively higher skill level um, than Domino Effect 7. Volunteers didn't show up and we ran like three hours late. That was that was pretty terrible. 
you can't think, you can't wallow in self pity or whatever because there's there's stuff to be done. So you just have to put that aside. I'll reflect later uh, and just you know go go go. Once you get pretty far in bracket, you you get pretty emotionally invested since if you made it so far, why don't you just finish off the tournament? So when you finally do win it, it's just like a burst of emotion and you're just like, yes, I can, you can do this now. I do feel very proud. I, I step back and I'm like, geez, we got, you know, 60, 80, 90, probably 100 at, at DE9. DE9. Everything ramped up. Competition, I'd say the quality of uh, how the tournaments ran. I do feel a lot of nostalgia for, for what DE used to be the house tournaments. I really liked it. It used to be just kind of like a group of people who were friends and, and just used Smash as a medium to connect, but now it feels like a bunch of people who play Smash and they, you know, there's just other people there. Well, you know, it's actually quite different. In fact, I see the Discord or I see our, like, online chat and it's like, it's just completely different. I just, like, it used to be such a small community. Um, of course, the new game Ultimate came in and everything's different now. I feel like like one, two, three were better because a small group of people, a small group of friends like got together and just like did a tournament. It's different from like facing against a bunch of random strangers that you don't know. It's like when you win against your friend, you can just kind of flex on them. Dom Effect 2, and you're more close to the people that you know there. Uh, Dom Effect 8, it's just you against competition. I guess it's more, you get more people there, it's more hype and all that jazz, but yeah, and it's nice to, you know, just know the people better. Now we have like tall PR players who are like, yeah, they're chill, but like I don't really know them, it's not as fun as like just playing with my friends at Maxis or something. Do I regret growing DE? Do I regret making it public? No, I don't regret it. Uh, I think we gave a lot of people the opportunity to play and a lot of people the opportunity to meet other people and though we may have lost the sense of small community I think what placed it is equally if not better for a majority of the people. I think it's really really cool to actually meet people that like the game as much as I do and uh, are you know worse than me so I can beat them but I mean probably the funnest thing about this community that we've created is that it's still growing. Compared to Down Effect Day, where it was actually a live tournament, you guys expanded so much on this. There were competitive people coming to this tournament. So I was like, okay, this is not fr friend versus friend anymore. This is actually, I'm going to beat you and I'm going to get to the top mentality now. Also, the drive of the people definitely changed. Like, you, Usher, and Yukito were like the top players in the beginning, and obviously that offset now because we have like really, really top players. The top three people all had, all had a really good shot of winning it, but now in like the last three, we've gotten like ranked players from the state that have come in. So not only has it gotten harder, but the total amount of entrance has gotten has gotten way up, which means that you get you get more experience playing a bunch of other people, which I think is good, but it's also gotten a lot harder to play as well. Domino effect, to me, is learning to be humble. Domino effect, to me, is learning about how to be a better friend. It's about getting better at something, systematically. It's about going places and seeing friends, meeting new people. I think D is amazing, because I just feel at home. Like, this is my, my, my circle, basically. I was talking to my friend about college, and I'm like, college is a big place, how are you gonna manage to like meet new people? And he couldn't come up with anything, but then my first response to my brain was, I'm gonna talk to people that play Smash. I'm gonna go to tournaments, I'm gonna meet new people and get those connections. I had 
outside of community. I have people there to help me, to have fun with, to go get boba with, to go eat pizza and hang out, <laughs> play our favorite video game together. And I invite everyone, anyone, to go and find a game or a community have these people there for you. I think saying yes to go to Domino Effect one was one of the best decisions I've ever made in my entire life. Right now? Yeah, right now. I'm down for that, actually. Let's do this.